Hey there, Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Here's your weekly word. Tres de Bastos, Three of Wands. La Torre, the Tower, El Sumo Sacerdote, the Hierophant. Nueve de Espadas, Nine of Swords, Dos de Oros, Two of Pentacles, Sota de Espadas, Page of Swords. You've given this person entirely too much power. You're thinking of this person constantly. This is not balanced. I don't see them showing up with respect. I don't see them showing up with consistency. You can't count on this person. I'm not seeing emotional rapport. I'm not seeing stability. It looks like they're giving you the bare minimum. I don't know if this person's going through a divorce and they're just really fucking stressed out. Um, if they're financially strapped, they're struggling financially, um, fighting for custody, joint custody of young children. I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of drama and conflict. Please clarify three of wands over nine of swords, one card. Oh, so the sun. Please clarify the tower over two of pentacles, one card. Leo. All this fire, strength. Please clarify the hierophant over page of swords, one card. El Cogado, the hanged man. What I see is a connection that cannot progress into a relationship because this person is not making you a priority. They're not prioritizing this connection. They've got too much going on. Um, they could be going through a divorce. So there's that. And then there's their career if you have any expectations of this person you're going to have to let go of those I mean I wouldn't choose to stay in something like this but the heart wants what the heart wants if you're attached you're attached I just see you thinking of this person constantly and giving them complete power over your life they're not moving forward they're not trying to pursue a real relationship and to me a real relationship is where there is respect and there is consistent communication uh, and you're having sex or you're planning on having sex at some point. But I just see a lot of obstacles, a lot of resistance. That's a lot of major arcana. Six more cards for Taurus. I don't see them coming through for you. I don't see you getting any gratification out of this. You could make plans to meet up, then they flake out on you. Washer and dryer are so loud. The blazing sword of truth. Ace of swords, lost the espadas. Queen of wands, ran to boss those. Justice, la justicia. Yeah, if they're going through a divorce right now, it's an especially difficult divorce 
I see them going to battle with an ex, soon to be ex. This person has a very loud, definite personality and it's brutal. They're not having a good time right now. I'm just seeing total drama. Yep, planet Earth, the world, El Mundo. This person's world has been turned upside down, so it's simply not realistic to have any expectations for this person. Two of staffs, two of wands, those de bastos, two of jades, two of pinnacles, those the oros. So you have a choice. Do you want to stay in this? Do you want to be patient? Do you want to wait for this person to be at a better place? Um, do you want to hold their hand through this? Although I don't see them really reaching out to you for support. I just see them brushing you off and being very closed off. So you can stay in this or you can choose to let go and detach. But it's like I say all the time, I don't believe anyone on this planet is worth your peace of mind. So if you're going through this, I would strongly suggest, if it resonates at all, that you let go and detach from this. This is simply not healthy. That's what I see for Taurus. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.